Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing the keyboard auto correction list feature that was hidden in iOS 5 and uncovered. And you can do this following the steps after I demo it off. So, how it works is I'll go into notes to make a demonstration. You see this extra bar on the top of my keyboard. Now, this is like an auto correct finish bar in which um, it is shown in a lot of Android devices. And this is actually implemented in by Apple. However, it is turned off at default, and you're going to have to do a little messing with the system to get it to turn on. How it works is if you have a word like, you want to type like, welcome, you can hit the word right there to finish it before it's actually done, and it'll show like all the things that you might want to be doing. So we can type something else like iPod, something, just tap it right there. And it allows for fax asset access at typing uh, longer words, however, it can get a little tedious having to hit confirm for every word that it tries to find stuff for. And it's just um, a cool mod, and the most cool part is it's actually made by Apple, and I'll be teaching you how to get it right now. What you're going to first need to do is download iBackupBot, install it on your computer, and open it. You can get it using the link in the description. It is plug in your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad into your computer and sync it with leaving a backup on the computer itself. And now it has to be in iTunes, make sure it's not backing up to the cloud because you're going to need this for this hack. Now you don't even need to be jailbroken. As I showed my as I showed this off on an iPhone 4S which obviously hasn't doesn't have a jailbreak as of today. So what you're going to do is click on to find your device. Click on mine right there. And then you're going to find the library slash preferences slash com.apple.keyboard.plist Now you can find this by organizing by path and just going down library preferences and then going to the K and then finding keyboard. Now what you're going to do after you have this is double click it, hit cancel unless you want to buy this software and what you're going to do is copy and paste this code that I give you in the description right after this true line so this won't be in your in your version and you're just going to have to paste that by hitting this little paste button after you copied and pasted it so it looks like this exactly so once you do that hit save right there and then close this window now once you now you can hit this button right here when your device is plugged in your device will restore um, to the backup make sure the backup's recent or just do it back it up right now on iTunes and when it turns on your device will have the, the keyboard modifications that's pretty much a really quick tutorial. If you have any comments, leave them below. Questions, leave them below. And I'll see you guys later.